Hello, hello. So in this SFM tutorial, I'm going to be explaining how to paint TF2 cosmetics, how to give them colors. Um, this is a very easy tutorial to follow. It's there's nothing complex. You don't need anything outside. No workshop items. It's all within SFM. So let's get into it. So first of all, I have Sniper and I have Scout doing the Kazowski kick. Their clothes like, have some clipping issues, just ignore that, that's not very important right now. So, I want to start off with Sniper. I want to give him all of his clothing to be a paint of orange. There's this TF2 wiki site that has all of the paint kits hex colors in it. The hex and RGB colors in it. So you're going to need the RGB for it. The RGB has the tones of every single color within TF2, whatever paint can like. You want uh, Manco Orange, this is what we're going to go for, Manco Orange. You need the RGB for it, 207, 115, 54. I'm going to show you guys where to exactly put that RGB in. So back into SFM, we got Sniper and we got Scout again. Let's start off with Sniper's hat. You want to go to the animation set editor, find Sniper's hat. In my case, it's this one over here, the first one. What you want to do, right click, add override material. Okay, nothing have changed, but now you're going to right click again, go to show element viewer, and then click model. This weird thing will pop up. The, just ignore everything over here. You What you want to worry about is the last one, material. You want to open that. And then you're going to have two options. The, this first option, which is normal. The second one, which is for blue, like if your hat is blue. These are the textures or materials of the hat. We got normal red and we got normal blue. Because the hat is red, is red, we want to focus at the red. What you want to do now is go to color tint base, which is the red color over here. You want to click on it. Over here, you get this thing pop up. Now, this is where the magic starts. If you move this around, it, it changes the color of the cosmetic to whatever you want. You want it white, you want it black, you want it whatever. It's going to change the color of the cosmetic. Now, um, I want to apply a specific paint color from one of the paint uh, cans in TF2. So mine, the one I want to apply is the Manco Orange one. So don't worry about the hex. What you want to worry about is the RGB, which is, which is 207, 115, 54. You want to remember these because you can't, you can't copy and paste it. You want to um, go back to SFM. And you see these three over here, that's where you want to put the RGB. The first one is going to be 207. The second one is going to be 115. And the last one is going to be 54. Apply all of the RGBs in its, in its uh, areas and you should have successfully create uh, changed the color of your cosmetic. So now we got an orange hat. Now let's do the the dead of night that the sniper has. I'm gonna use a different color than orange, let's say like green, lime or whatever. So you're gonna find the, the um, clothing for sniper. In our case, it's gonna be this. Oh, I'm sorry, it's gonna be this jacket sniper. Right click, add override material. Right click again, show an element viewer, model. Don't worry about anything over here but the last one, material. Open that. You have four options over here for whatever reason. What you have to, what your concern is, is the first one, X, uh, Xmas 2013 Jacket 1, or the third one, Xmas Jacket 1 Blue. That's based on whatever you're using, red or blue. In my case, I'm using the red version. So I'm going to be you doing this, the red one. Click over here on the color tint base. Now this will pop up. Over here, you can change the color of the cosmetic, whatever color you want. But I want to apply a certain ID for it based on the TF2's paint cans. So I want to give it a lime, a bitter taste of defeat and lime. Go to the RGB. You want to remember the RGB, 520550. Go back to SFM. Click on the paint can, uh, click on the color again. So you want to apply the RGB over here. In our case, it's going to be 520550. So 50. 205 and 50. If you do it right, the color should change to whatever cosmetic you've selected. 
So in our case, we got the lime cosmetic. Uh, we got the lime paint kit applied. So this is how you change the cosmetics color in SFM. If this helped you out, please let me know. If it didn't, tell me what issue you have. I'll see if I can help you out. And if you have any other suggestions on what tutorial tutorial you want, just let me know in the comments. Thanks and have a good rest of your day or night.